Hey everyone, Vincent here from XBS Productions, and today in this video quick tip, I'll be teaching you how to create this nice iPod-like streetlight effect using After Effects. Now, unlike the Andrew Camera version of this video tutorial, he used a particular version 1. In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create this light streak effect using particular version 2 for three reasons. One, it's a lot easier, two, it's a lot faster, and three, it has a built-in particular streetlight effect particle built-in, so it's a lot easier to use and all that stuff. And on the web, I haven't seen any video tutorial covering this using particular version 2 yet, so I'll be covering it. But basically, it's a lot faster, and here's a preview of what we're going to be creating. So as you see, it reminds you of the iPod Nano commercials about two years ago, the chromatic with the silhouettes and people dancing around in the dark, and they have their iPods and the light streaks following the iPod. So that's the preview, and let's get, let's get started with this video tutorial. We're going to create a new composition. And we're going to name it main comp. I'm going to make my width and height 1280 by 720, so basically 720p, 30 seconds long, and click OK. Now, this is not a really beginner's video tutorial. I mean, beginner, beginners can follow this video tutorial and achieve the effect. But if you're a really noobish and you have no experience in After Effects, then this is going to be a hard video tutorial for you because I'm going to go pretty fast. Because sometimes, I mean, I got a lot of complaints recently about my speed, and I'm sorry about this, but most of my viewers are advanced users or or experienced users and my video tutorials to them are actually fine the speed's not that fast and you guys are complaining about how fast it is and you guys are complaining how you have to pause every once in a while well I'm doing this video tutorial real time I'm creating the light streaks in real time right now so of course you can't watch the video tutorial and do it real time and expect you and expect not to pause anywhere in the video tutorial that's how video tutorials work you have to pause and catch up and just learn from it. So pause, take a deep breath, and comprehend it, and all stuff, and do it, and then unpause and go like that. Because you can't obviously you cannot watch the tutorial straight through it and do it once without pausing. It's impossible. But let's get started. I'm gonna hit Control or Command Y to create a new solid. I'm gonna make BG for background. Make comp size black is okay. Then click OK. So simply we have a black solid layer. Easy enough. We're gonna create a null object. So it'll layer new null object and it creates a null object right here hit enter and name it control and then we're going to change it to a 3d layer so under the cube right here hit the 3d knob to make it a 3d layer we're going to create a new light layer new light and we're going to name it emitter with a capital e then click ok and we're going to hit P for the emitter, so click on the emitter, hit P on the keyboard, and hit P on the control, so we've got the position. We're going to click on the emitter, hold down the Alt key, and hit the stopwatch for position. That brings up the expression, expression controls for the emitter. We're going to hold the pick whip, and pick whip the position to the controls position. That, makes, that means that if we move the control, it's going to move the emitter as well. And so, and for the control, we're going to alt click on the position, stopwatch. And now usually in your own projects, you want full control, you want to control your light streaks. But in this video tutorial, I'm going to make an easy expression to move the particles around for you. So I'm going to type in wiggle, parentheses, 1, 500. And this is just an easy way to give you random movement. Of course, in your project, you want to control the light streaks again, but I just want random movement because it's a video tutorial, and I don't really care where the particles are right now. I just want, I just want to make the light streaks. So we have our null object moving around in random space, but of course you have to animate yourself in your projects. So now we're done with that. We're going to go Control or Command Y again to create a new layer, and we're going to hit, we're going to name it Partic Particular, make it Main Comp, click OK and go to the effects and presets and search in particular. Now of course this is a paid plugin so you need to go to redgiantsoftware.com and buy trap code particular and version 2 drag that into the particular layer so now we have particles emitting we need to attach this particle system to our light so go to emitter emitter type lights so now our particles emit from that light and that light is being controlled by the null object so if you see, we get this shooting stars effect It's being emitted from the light. And that's looking good. We're going to go through the velocity and change it to zero. So now it's a little string. 
and that might be what you're looking for but that's not what we're achieving so let's go to velocity random zero and velocity dist distribution to zero and emitter size to zero emitter size y to zero and emitter size z to zero so you get a solid string we're going to go to the particle oh and change the pre-run to 100 so it starts automatically when it's emitted and go to the particle tab and we're going to go change the particle type to streaklet and the streaklet particle type is only in particular version 2 that's why we're using this version so as you see it didn't look like streaklets at all we need to increase the size to about 30 so already we start to get the streaklet effect we're going to change the transfer mode to add and change the color to whatever color you want but relatively dark color I want a blue color so I'm going to choose a dark blue and because it's in additive mode we need to choose a dark color so we get this nice light streak effect now as you see our particles are like breaking apart so we need to fill those gaps in by increasing the particles per second and just pump that up until you get a solid streetlet now you don't want to overdo it or else it's going to kill render time but like that adjust it just low enough but high enough so it fills everything in so now we have our particles now they're kind of long so we gotta change the life down to maybe 1.5 so they're a lot shorter when I ran preview this so we get our nice light streak effect so they're moving around on their own So, and then we're going to go to maybe opacity over life, and then we're going to do this ramp linear one right here, so they fade out nice when they're about to die. And if you want to go even further, you can change the size over life and do the same thing. The particles get a lot smaller, but I like mine by default like that. Random preview. That's already looking good. Now, if this particle type doesn't look that good to you, you can always scroll down to the streaklet options. And for the random seed, just play around with the seed. And each time you add a number to it, it gives you a different look. So let's go to this frame right here. And of course, if you change the random seed, you get a different look every time. And of course you can add a glow to this, so let's go to the effects and presets, search in glow. Scroll down under stylize, direct it into the particular layer. So we get this glow effect. You can play around with the intensity and radius. Something like that. And of course, now imagine what you can do with optical flares. So you can create a new layer, name it OF, and maybe add optical flares in there. You don't have to do this, but it's what I would do just give you some more options inside the box. So now we have optical flares. We're going to change the source type to lights, track lights. So it follows our lights. We're going to change it to random mode on transparent. And we're going to go to options. And let's go use, let's go use a preset. Let me use attack light. Click OK. Now it's not looking that great, but you can see what we can do with optical flares and lens flares in general with using light streaks. So let's just turn that off. So as you see, we created this nice light streak effect. Of course, on your products and animations, you want to control how the light streak moves and where it moves and all that stuff. But for this video tutorial demonstration, I use the wiggle expression just to drive the position around randomly. But of course, you can create this on your own. Now I don't know if this is really helpful at all, but for those people who want to create a light streak effect using a particular version two. Something to think about. Really quick video quick tip. Not really useful, but just a video quick tip. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for um watching this far. And comment, rate, subscribe, check out my YouTube channel for more videos, and thanks for watching guys.